P.K. Hovi, Georgian, P.K. Hovi also known as P.K. Hoati, P.K. Heti is a medieval term for the mountainous district in northeast Georgia comprising the latter-day provinces of Peshavi and Kevsareti along the upper reaches of the Erigva, and in three alpine valleys just north of the main crest of the Greater Caucasus today's Dusheti district, Mts Keta Mtianeti region. Its inhabitants, the Pikehovians, Pikehovi Elni Pkho v Elni, were a tribe of Georgian highlanders known for their warlike character and frequent disobedience to the royal authority. The toponym Pikehovi, which may derive from a Georgian root meaning, brave, valiant, is first attested in a passage from the 7th century chronicle The Conversion of Kartli, which refers to the defiance of local highlanders to Christianizing efforts of the king Mirian III, and Saint Nino, a 4th century apostle of eastern Georgia. Kartli, Iberia. These pressures are reported to have forced several Pikehovian families to move southeast to Tusheti. Although the population of this region was nominally under the direct rule of the Georgian crown, they had never been completely integrated into the feudal system of medieval Georgia, and remained relatively little affected by implantation of aristocratic landowners as well as foreign intrusions. However, as Professor Kevin Toot of Université de Montréal has recently suggested, the Pikehovian Highlanders adopted the principal concepts, and vocabulary, of Georgian feudalism. Rather than being instantiated on the ground, however, the principles of hierarchy, interdependence between lord and vassal, land tenure, military and labor tribute, etc., were projected onto the cosmological plane, and superimposed upon beliefs inherited from the common Georgian or possibly Pan-Caucasian religious system. The position of the Georgian Orthodox Church was also weak, and the Pikehovians professed a curious mixture of pagan and Christian beliefs. This has reflected in the religious architecture of P.K. Hovi, whereas each village of other highland provinces of Georgia, such as Svaneti, Kevi, Mtiuleti, and Racha, has at least one church dating from the 5th to the 18th century, P.K. Hovi appears to be devoid of Georgian Orthodox churches. Instead, the region abounds in sacred sites, of which the most venerated are referred to as Kati or J. Vari, meaning, an icon, and a cross in standard Georgian usage, but denoting, beyond these sacred images, the sanctuaries in which they are housed, and the deity believed to preside over the sanctuary in P.K. Hovi, the refractory independence of P.K. Hovi's mountainous clans led to the sporadic incursions of royal troops bent on forcing them into submission. One of the most devastating expeditions against the P.K. Hovians was organized, c. 1212, at the behest of the Queen Tamar of Georgia who presided over the Golden Age of the Kingdom of Georgia. The contemporary chronicle recounts a bloody three-month campaign of pacification by Tamar's general Ivan the Adabek, that left several Pikehovian villages and shrines destroyed. The term P.K. Hovi disappeared in the 15th century and was replaced with the toponyms, Peshavi and Kevsareti. It has survived, however, in the name of the village Shuakho Shua meaning middle in Georgian, and the Vinic designation for Kevsareti, P. Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> 